Hello everyone. Um, today I decided to do something that I haven't seen many people, if at all, do. Um, <laughs> this is a new concept of mine. So, a lot of you know that the Traveler's Notebook, the uh, original Traveler's Notebook company, has released a bunch of brass product and it's part of the look that um traveler's notebook company and you can kind of see that these are some of the most recent products they released as well as the superior labor you can look at their brass hardware this is just something that kind of goes with this vintage um well-loved well-traveled theme the raw brass um aka uncoated brass have um the potential to patina with use so um they will start off really shiny really beautiful but as you handle it um and as it's exposed to oxygen and moisture it will gain a beautiful patina and so today I wanted to basically um, go over some brass stationery, accessory, planner accessory kind of items I found. I'm a big, big fan of the raw brass look. And so let's get started. Um, the first ones we got to talk about are these clips. Um, I love these. They're released by Traveler's Company in 2019 and the one very very clever design is um, you can see where it holds the paper it bends in just a little bit so that it doesn't actually pinch the paper I thought that was really smart and I love using these they're so easy to use and they look amazing now next up let's just go over the Traveler's Company route uh, many of you know of their raw brass pens. This one is a pencil. And um, this is actually quite new, but it already has a decent amount of patina on it. They also have ballpoint pen, gel pen, and fountain pen uh, in this raw brass finish. Kind of looks like a bullet. Um, I have been stopped, stopped by TSA before. Um, when they saw this pen, but it's all good. <laughs> they figure it out. So next up, we have their brass ruler stencils type of thing. Um, I had so I guess these are more like bookmarks and stencils. These actually don't patina as much, probably because you don't really hold and handle your stencils as much as you do your clips and your pens. Um, but they have one that's different planner symbols and numbers and another one for all the letters. I keep both of them with me. I actually quite like using the number stencils for um, filling out dates. They just look really, really nice and they're not super duper thick. So um, they're pretty easy to transport. And it gives it that kind of vintage look. Okay, next up we have just some little brass um, charms. I only have two because I'm not a big charm person. But uh, they have a lot of charms for your no traveler's notebook um, in these raw brass. And you can kind of see this one has gotten a ton of patina. I've actually cleaned it once already in the past. And um, yeah, so these are awesome if you want to check them out. They're really, really sturdy. Unlike some of the fake brass that you would find at your craft store, these are so, so thick and sturdy. Next up, um, following along the theme, we have these little paper 
paper clips um these little bookmark paper clips type of things um these are actually um some of their most common products i only have a set of three here but they have a lot of different ones with different kind of um uh, symbols or numbers and whatnot I think you can get a set that has like the numbers for months and things and again these are super duper thin and they look great I'm not currently using them that's why they're in this little baggie um, next up we have these brass plates uh, I well one of them is missing is because I'm currently using one these are, these kind of stand out a little bit if you put them on your traveler's notebook on the front cover, but that's what I've done in the past for my passport size traveler's notebook, and um, a lot of people use these as accessories, um, and a lot of places kind of sell these individually too. I know that AliExpress has like knockoff versions of these, and I have personally not tested how good they are but these ones are really really good quality um in the back it gives you some adhesives that you can use and uh what i've done in the past is i used one of these ad adhesive strips on the back of um this brass plate and then i just stuck it to the front cover of my traveler's notebook and when i removed it it came off really easily. It didn't leave any mark. Um, so that was awesome. Next up is something that I don't usually see people having. So these, this one and this one, still new in packaging. And this is actually a good chance for you to see the difference in the patina. These are released by uh, Traveler's Factory or Traveler's Company um, as... Uh, kind of like a little charm or key, uh, that you can add to your notebook and keychain for storing uh oh I don't have anything here right now for storing uh international short cartridges this one perfectly stores one and you can kind of see that they do have the o-rings um on the top so if for some reason I don't know why your ink leaks it's not gonna come out and when you screw it uh, together you don't really see the steam almost at all these are very very heavy duty um, and this one can store obviously international standard long cartridge for a fountain pen or two short cartridges perfectly um, I've only used the short one um, for my Kaweco uh, fountain pens. I have not used the long one just because I haven't really had the need to, but I still bought it just in case. Okay, so um, this one is technically not a Traveler's Company product, but it is a Midori product, which is um, ba basically they belong to the same parent company. It's a pen loop. I don't know why I'm showing that with my finger. Um, nothing to say about this. The clip is thinner um, and smaller, I guess, than a lot of the clips you would see. So it's actually a lot more malleable than some other ones. And this thing stretches so much and doesn't lose its shape. So if you're considering these, I do believe that they're not super expensive either. You can certainly pick one up. Um, I think that's all of my Traveler's Company items. That's quite a bit. Um, next up, I have this little charm from Baumkuchen. Um, they, I actually didn't buy this charm. I just directly took it off of one of my bags from them. Um, this is, again, made of really solid brass and the engraving looks absolutely gorgeous this one is a raw brass paper clip where a lot of people just kind of put them on the cover of their traveler's notebook as a decoration um it's like a paper clip money clip 
from the superior labor. And I use this a lot um, on my traveler's notebooks. You can see how much how much patina it's gotten. Um, and it's so, so sturdy, so solid. I love the look. Um, yeah, so grab one of these if you're interested. Um, next up I have some Amazon products or AliExpress products. So this is a ruler, a solid brass ruler. I picked up on Amazon. You can get a pack of two for not much money at all. Um, I have been really, really satisfied with this. It's quite a bit thicker than the, um, let me see if I can show this better, than the stencils. And so I can kind of warp the stencils really easily, but not so much with this one. It's just really, really solid. It's short. It fits in the Chic Sparrow or most passport size actually without sticking out much and um, yeah so these are I'm really happy with them and next up are the ones that I just received today and also what prompted me to make this video this is a brass um, gel pen or ballpoint pen uh, that I got from Aliexpress it took shipping took forever but this pen, holy crap, it's so, so heavy, which is really, really nice, actually, if you're, if you want some weight to your pens. It screws, uh, open right here, and I had to put in this Jet Stream refill in here. It takes the pretty standard gel pen refill, um... So I was really happy about that because I didn't really know that before. So you can pretty much put whatever refill you want in here. And this um, knot, when you push it down, it goes over to the side, brings out the pen. And then when you put it to the side, it kind of turns back. It's a, quite a bit longer than the um, Traveler's Company ones. And... Um, it's, it's surprisingly awesome, um, especially considering how versatile, uh, it is when it comes to refills. Now, next up, I have this little charm. I believe that, uh, you can get something like this on Amazon too. I got this one from AliExpress. Um, it's basically just a tiny little metric a uh, six centimeter long ruler that has this little charm part that you can hang on your notebook or um, what I'm planning on doing with this is to keep it with my keys so um, this is made of really really solid brass um, just overall great quality I'm personally not a big fan of the engraving but it's generic enough so that nobody would hate it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm excited to put this on my keychain. And next up, I got one of these from AliExpress. I immediately forgot what they're called, but it's used to measure the thickness of an item. Um, this is, again, made of pure, or at least uh, raw brass, really solid. Uh, really good quality. I don't know what else to say about it. It's just it, It's just really really nice. Um, and then finally I have this ruler and This one so um, After I figured out how much I do love the brass ruler um, I do quite a bit of designing it requires me to draw squares or circles and whatnot in my journals for my shop and so I figured that I would invest in a pair of these guys these are uh, from Aliexpress and oh my goodness they are so solid sturdy whatever you call it um, they are just beyond my expectation uh because of how 
well constructed they are. There's no like weird extra parts. They're in perfect shape. Uh, the material is absolutely beautiful and because of how new they are um, compared to my other ruler they have that really really beautiful shine and I can't wait to uh, see it patina so these are the items that I wanted to show you this time it's a little bit longer of a video than what I usually do but I figure that it's Nice to see all of these brass product lying together in front of you. So let me know if you have any questions. I'll try to link whatever I can find in the description down below. I don't get anything for that. I just wanted to show you how, um, how much I love these. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.